is up everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Today we are checking out Triad Orbit. Now what is Triad Orbit? Um, it's basically uh, a mic stand alternative that is just so much better. I mean uh, it started out like that um, but really what the company covers is uh, anything from audio which would be in my case uh, microphone stands uh, mounting and moving and you know we'll get into all that uh, photo and video which is definitely uh, my world and then of course uh, multimedia so that's more iPods well I shouldn't say iPods anymore but iPads uh, laptops uh, video monitors um, the solutions are just endless and uh, the products are just very well thought out and very well executed uh, products and they've just been a game changer in my room. So uh, why do I need this product? Uh, two reasons. One is uh, floor space. My studio, this little studio is very small and what I do primarily in here is uh, demo videos, teaching videos, and then of course I also do uh, session work. Um, and what I ran into, especially doing teaching videos, uh, any sort of demo videos, I was getting out for multi-camera shots, I was getting out different tripods and setting them up and because the room was so small I was constantly walking into the tripods, knocking cameras over and catching them and in some cases I've actually broke cameras. So floor space is a big deal. I need a smaller footprint and I need the availability of basically uh, no footprint if I can help it and we'll get into that as well. And just as an example, one of my favorite microphone stands from uh, Triad is called the uh, the T3. Now what I'm using right now for facing a shot in this direction is the T3 stand. Now that stand, uh, it weighs almost 14 pounds and that seems heavy for a mic stand but for me it's perfect because I'm not going to just use it as a mic stand. Uh, for instance, right now I've got the camera that I'm talking into pointing at me, but I've also got a camera mounted via a clamp and I'll, I'll get into what those pieces are so I can actually have what I would consider an inset shot. So if I wanted to pick up a guitar and have that more of a close-up or inset shot, I've got that and I can, you know, show the instrument or whatever it is I happen to be doing um, and then still have uh, simultaneous cameras running at the same time so it's just ideal and this particular setup takes up way less space normally I'd have two tripods and like I said I would kick them this is all mounted on one stand that can be manipulated in any direction uh, you know, tilted, the legs can tilt in or out, so I can tilt the whole rig one way or the other if I like. And because it weighs 14 pounds by itself, it's not going to be apt to tip over very easily. And another really great thing about the stand is it has what's called air suspension. So, you know, in this case with this stand, speaking of multimedia, you could put up to 40 pounds on this stand. I believe it's actually 44. Let's say you put like a 40 pound lighting rig or, or a light and a monitor and a camera and all of that comes out to around 40 pounds and you just want to adjust the whole thing up or down because it has air suspension you don't run the risk of loosening the clutch on the stand to lower it and then having the whole thing just come crashing down it'll very slowly come down and then it's also easier to raise uh, whatever medium you're using up if it's heavy um, so this is a really uh, ideal setup for me. It doesn't take up very much room and it sets up really quickly and also tears down really quickly. So that's one setup. Um, now uh, workflow, coming back to uh, what I was originally talking about, workflow is a big deal because sometimes I need to uh, do what I'm doing here, but other times I need to face the other direction and do the same inset shots but behind me is a desk so I can't have this type of setup that I was just mentioning on this side of me and that's where uh, a lot of the triad orbit has just been uh, a lifesaver for me so uh, let's get into uh, piece by piece what I'm using um, on my desk and then we'll kind of uh, go from there because like I said workflow is everything 
and I'll demonstrate uh, how I manage my workflow, especially for doing uh, video content. Okay, so let's start with what I would consider my inset shot camera. So what I showed you facing the other direction was a similar setup, but that's on that T3 stand that was uh, behind me. Now I'm going to show you what I do to get essentially the same exact thing going, but facing the other direction, facing towards my desk. So where it starts for me on my desk for that inset shot is going to be a, a mini grip clamp. Uh, that's a very important piece. Um, that I will clamp to my desk first. And every single one of these accessories has what's considered a, a quick coupler. So I could click anything in to that clamp once I have it mounted where I want it. So we start with the clamp. I get it in position on the desk where I want it. The next piece is uh, the OM standard arm. Now that's a, basically a 22.5 inch arm that I can rotate and move in any position that I want. So I clamp that in to the clamp that's on the desk, or I should say I, I click it in uh, via that uh, quick coupler. And then on the end of that arm, is uh, it's called the M3. And it's, it's an adapter that allows me to swivel my cameras in any way or position that I want. Now I can also, uh, being that is an adapter, I can put different uh, adapters on there. I can have a camera mounted on that. I can have a standard mic clip that mounts to it if I needed that. Um, or even uh, something for you know a light mount if I wanted to. But in this case, I'm keeping my camera mounted to it. So one position uh, is the same inset shot where I've got a camera in front of me and then the inset shots on the guitar. Okay, now here's where the workflow really comes into play. Sometimes I don't need an inset camera facing a guitar. I'm actually demoing, say, uh, an overdrive pedal or some sort of stomp box. I need to be able to quickly uh, move that camera from the position it was in into an inset shot that's actually facing down towards the desk. So let's, uh, let's check that out. Okay, so in this case, because I'm not necessarily showcasing a guitar anymore, I just need a direct shot on me, um, I've got my inset camera now pointed in that down position that I showed you. So if I'm demoing, say, uh, uh, some sort of overdrive pedal or just any uh, stomp box, uh, that's uh, one of the most common ways that I use that particular uh, setup. And of course, you can see here I've still got the same camera in the same position for my direct shots, but my inset camera has been uh, turned down. So now if I'm demoing, I can switch to my inset camera and turn on whatever I'm demoing. can turn controls and and kind of help people discover whatever product I happen to be uh, demoing. Okay, so you can see how uh, easily I was able to do that. Now, the camera I'm speaking into is on the same exact setup as what I just previously showed you, but that setup is actually behind my computer screen. So I've got that same mini clamp back there. I've got the same OM arm attached to that and the same M3 adapter at the top. And behind my screen, I can click in and then manipulate or move that arm to any position that I need, as well as change the angle uh, of the camera. So those are those two setups. They're identical, but I'm using them uh, in different ways. Now, speaking of what's on my desktop, I am speaking uh, into a microphone. I'm not speaking into it, but you're hearing, and it's right above my head. And this was a very important uh, addition to what I keep on my desktop as far as uh, uh, Triad Orbit goes, because it was the same problem. I needed to have it above my head, but I needed the boom arm. I needed everything out of the shot. So this has been an ideal setup. So um, let me talk about where all that starts and how that comes together. 
it starts with what's called uh, the wall mount, and it's called the IOW. It's basically a wall plate with that same quick change coupler that I spoke about. Now, um, we'll get to the wall mounted plates that I have, but you can also use that same wall mount uh, to put on your desktop. And in my case, I've got it right on top of my, uh, my four space rack. So that's been uh, bolted in. The, uh, the next piece that would go into that is uh, a long telescoping arm. Um, that's ideal. Uh, as far as the length of that arm, I can kind of raise or lower things to where I need them depending on where I want that mic positioned. Uh, that's ideal, so I click that in. Now the next thing that I will click in is called the EXT2S. That's a very important piece because it allows me to spin the arm uh, one way or the other. Because otherwise, if I'm spinning uh, that arm in and out without that, um, it'll work okay, but eventually what's going to happen is the clutch on that arm is going to start loosening up and then my stand might drop in height. So that is an ideal piece. So the X, uh, EXT uh, 2S was very important. On top of that is the, uh, the O1L. That is uh, the longer version, the bigger version of the OM arm that I had on my desk. Um, I needed a way longer uh, telescope on that. It goes out to 37.5 inch, inches, which allows me once again to have that overhead mic in several different positions without uh, running out of range and it works great. Now on the end of that, instead of using an M3, what I've done is I'm, I've got a standard mic clip attached uh, to the end of, of the arm and it, it works perfectly. I could use an M3, but in this case, I didn't uh, really need that. And then also I'm using another accessory from Triad Orbit called the cable control. And it's, it's awesome because it just allows me to quickly get cables because if those cables were hanging down from that mic, um, it probably would end up in my shot. So that's been uh, absolutely ideal. So that's how that setup works. Um, once again, workflow game changer. I can move that mic out of the way when I'm not using it, but when I'm setting up, I just swing it out and I'm, I'm good to go. So let's talk about my lighting and those uh, wall mounts. I've got four wall mounts. I've got uh, two that are behind my desk. So this is the shot facing me now, and my lights right now are in that position, but I'm also able to take those lights and move them to separate wall mounts uh, behind me on the opposite wall for when I wanna shoot in the other direction, the direction I started shooting in. Now in this case, those lights aren't back there because I've, I'm able to have some sunlight coming in. But if I was shooting at night, what I would do is I would take these lights and I would move them to the other wall to face uh, you know, in a different camera direction. So that works great. Um, I'm using the wall mounts, as I mentioned, with the quick couplers. I've got uh, arms that I'm using out of the wall mount so that I can have the lights come out away from the wall. And those arms can be adjusted in or out as needed uh, from the wall. And then of course, at the end of those arms, I'm using once again, uh, my M3 uh, adapters. And in this case, they're uh, set up to basically screw into the LED lights that I'm using. So being able to just once again, without having to get out big light stands and move things around, I can just, in a pretty quick succession, take this pe these pieces apart, the lights, and go ahead and move them uh, behind me, and I'm good to go. Okay, so I've talked about everything that I use in this room. I want to go back to uh, the audio side of it and the microphone side of it, because I have a separate room that I use, a separate closet, uh, for miking up my cabinets. And that closet's all soundproofed and sounds great, but it is very small, so space is at a premium in there, floor space. So, uh, same concept, I, I needed a way smaller footprint in there to get all these cabinets mic'd up. So the perfect solution for that was the, uh, the TM uh, Mini. It's the little, basically the little brother to the, the T3. It has a very small uh, footprint. It's, it's sh uh, shorter, obviously and it works out perfectly because what I've got attached uh, to that is called the O2X and it's a dual arm orbital boom uh, and it's just ideal because 
basically it splits that stand into two mounts that I can then attach different length arms to via those quick couplers once again and then up to different mounts uh, or I should say adapters at the end of those that I can point at my cabinets. I've got three cabinets in there that I like to mic up. Now I never have them all mic'd up and running at once but I do have like a main cabinet and you can see in there I've got a Royer and a 57 off of one side of that. Oh, two X. And then going up to the cab above uh, is my red plate cabinet. That's an open back cabinet with a different speaker in it. I like to just keep a Royer on that. Um, but what I really uh, like to be able to do is mic occasionally that rev cabinet that's down on the floor there because it's got a different speaker and a different tonality, but I still just like to use the ribbon. So the way I was able to set this up was I've got this really tiny footprint on a stand that's still pretty heavy and basically every bit, not even basically, it's every bit as adjustable as the, the Big Brother T3 stand is, but it's got enough weight that I can have all these mics on it and uh, actually manipulate that top mic, I can actually just swing it down and use the adapter that's on there, the swivel adapter, to replace that Royer on the cabinet on the other side without worrying about the whole thing uh, tipping over and having it turn into a, uh, a disaster. So once again, what's in there is the TM, the mini, is where it starts. What's uh, clicked into the top of that is the O2X, uh, which is ideal, and it's got different length arms. And what I will say is at the end of those arms, instead of using the M3 adapters, I'm using the M2 adapters. Um, because those mics aren't as heavy, my cameras are just heavy enough, I wanted to go with the M3s, but with the microphones, um, just for the sake of weight, um, it was much easier to go with the, uh, the M2 adapters. So I really appreciate you guys uh, checking out Triad uh, Orbit's products. Um, there's so much information on the website. I still go there uh, quite often just to get new ideas because it's just so complex in the things you can do uh, with these products. But if you've got any further questions, go to the site and, uh, and check it out. And as always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you next time.